Hello everybody, this is Nanduram and we are from Sunu Academy. Today we are going to explain about Organization of Life Introduction Part. Children, you have studied in the earlier classes that biology is the science of living organisms. You have also studied the wonderful ways of living of these organisms. The complicated task they perform and the role in controlling the environment on the planet. How do they achieve this? Is there something special and unique in the bodies of these living organisms that is making the living organisms different from non-living things? Yes, if you study carefully, both living forms and non-living objects exist together in nature. If you analyze the chemical composition of living organisms, you will notice that they are made of chemicals which are also present in non-living objects. All the living organisms are made up of atoms of carbon, hydrogen, oxygen and nitrogen. Other elements such as sodium, potassium, magnesium, calcium, iron and sulfur are present in small amounts in living organisms. These elements whether they present in living or non-living forms. But they obey the same rules of physics and chemistry. Example, an iron atom will be the same whether it is present in the human body or in an iron nail. If the atoms of the same chemicals are present in living forms and non-living objects and they obey the same rules of physics and chemistry, then why and how the living organisms are different from non-living forms? And why living organisms can do things which non-living objects cannot do? Similarly, both living and non-living forms are made up of atoms of same elements, but the way they are arranged and organization make the difference in their behavior. In both living and non-living forms, the organization starts from the level of an atom. In the atom of same or different elements are arranged to form a molecule. However, from here onwards, the organization differs in living and non-living forms. In the case of non-living forms, the organization stops at the level of molecules or proceeds to form crystals or collides. In biological systems, Molecules are organized in a different way from the non-living forms. Molecules of nucleotides, amino acids and carbohydrates are organized to form much larger or micromolecules such as nucleic acids, proteins and polysaccharides respectively from the above simple molecules. These molecules are arranged to form protoplasm. In turn protoplasm is organized to form a cell. Several cells are organized to form a tissue. Tissues are organized to form an organ and organs into organ systems and organ systems into organizations. In complicated organisms, the organ systems, organs and tissues are complicated. Interestingly, the organization in biological system does not stop at the level of organism. Several organisms form a population, several populations form a community, several communities form an ecosystem and several ecosystems together form a biosphere. It includes all the living organisms on the planet. Hence, in a living system, organization starts at the level of atom and proceeds all the way up to the organisms and above what we explained. Children, Having learned the importance of organization and structure in relation to function, let us study in this chapter how the living organisms are organized. We will start discuss with the cell which is the basic structure and functional unit of all the living organisms and they study how the cells are organized to form higher structures such as tissues in the next coming videos. Points to be remembered in this lesson are atoms of the chemical elements present in the living things are also present in non-living things objects and they obey the same rules of physics and chemistry. The atoms of these elements are organized in a complex manner in living organisms when compared to the arrangement in non-living objects. In non-living systems, atoms are organized into molecules and molecules into crystals or collides. 
In living organisms, atoms are organized into molecules, molecules to micromolecules such as nucleic acids, proteins and polysaccharides. These molecules are further organized into protoplasm, protoplasm into cells, cells into tissues, tissues into organs, organs into organ systems and then into an organism. Organization continues beyond organisms to form a population, communities, ecosystem and biosphere. In biological system, structure is related to this function. We will discuss this in next coming videos. Thank you. This is Nanduram and we are from Sono Academy.